Sabrins, come in. Hello everyone, welcome to APA Anime Edition. I'm Jamie Runa and today we're looking at Full Metal Alchemist. This anime is an adaptation of the Full Metal Alchemist manga, set in a European Industrial Revolution type world. Now, I'd like to point out something, okay? This manga was running from 2001 to 2010, okay? But this anime was made in 2004, so inevitably it caught up to the actual storyline of the manga, although to me it felt like it deviated after maybe 5 or 6 episodes out of 51. So in order to produce a complete story, it is very different in a lot of ways. Set in a fictional universe, where alchemy is one of the most advanced scientific techniques, the story follows the two brothers, Eduardo and Arufons Eruik, who are in search of the Philosopher's Stone, essentially because they want to restore their bodies to how they were. Because what happened was, they were trying to revive their mother, and because they were using a very forbidden form of alchemy, human alchemy, Edward <coughs> Eduardo is now short an arm and a leg, and out of France, he pretty much doesn't have a body, so his consciousness is tied to a suit of armor. A very important concept of alchemy is called equivalent exchange. Essentially what that is, is in order to obtain something or a certain outcome, you must give something of equal value. Now whether this value is referring to molecular weight or what, I don't know. While the two brothers search for the Philosopher's Stones, they are being hunted by the Seven Deadly Sins, who seem to be controlled by some higher authority. The bond between the brothers is very good. I mean, they did go through quite the trauma together. But Eduardo blames himself pretty much entirely for what's happened, because he's the older one. He should have known they shouldn't have tried that. Or at least not without maybe a Philosopher's Stone, huh? Hmm? So he constantly blames himself for the fact Alphonse can't feel wind, he can't play in grass, he can't do anything, he can't feel anything. And even though he's a gigantic suit of armor, essentially, he is pretty much vulnerable. Well, Eduardo is actually the stronger alchemist, and therefore has been dubbed Furumeto by the government. And Alphonse is often mistaken for him. Ed. He has a terrible complex about his height. You may have noticed I made a short joke earlier. Huh? Huh? Through the course of the story, Eduardo and Alphonse encounter many types of people, from martyrs to other types of alchemists to just downright evil dickbags. Somehow there's a slight disconnect between the viewer and some of the characters. Like, the writers are trying to make you feel certain feelings about them, but because they try far too hard, in my opinion, you just don't feel anything. The art style is such that scenes tend to flow very well, from battle scenes to the transition between the normal animation and the animation. The music is basically suitable for each scene and time and place, however, it doesn't really enhance the experience so much as suit it. Battle scenes tend to feel drawn out in that there's not quite as much action as you feel like you want there to be, but the flow of the movements and the motions is actually very well portrayed, I'll give them that. Essentially, the plotline and the introduction is quite good, however the explanations you get for how alchemy works feels a little bit lacking and kind of like they're grabbing at random strings that don't make much sense. And unfortunately, you pretty much don't get exposed to any of the history or the geography of the world, which is kind of sad. I would give this anime a 5 out of 10, and I've explained above as to why I would do that. I would definitely suggest that if you or a friend have not been exposed to the Full Metal Alchemist universe yet, whether it be by watching the FMA Brotherhood anime or by actually reading the manga, I would strongly suggest watching FMA first because essentially it's still pretty okay, you know? It's different. It's, it's pretty well done. I mean... Anyway guys, that's it for today. Keep an eye out for my FMA Brotherhood peak, which is to come, and also for the comparison between the two. I warn you now, it'll be chock full of spoilers, but not very obvious ones. 
At least I'm trying not to make them obvious. But you'll know it when you see it, kind of, kind of spoiler, you know? Like, favorite, subscribe, do everything, and I will see you next time. Bye!